Hi everyone. In this video, we will see about uh, data diff, date value and time value functions in Excel. Okay. So for that I have collected some data that is date of birth I have collected. Date, the birth month and year of birth. All the data I have. Let me combine all these uh, uh, values uh, to give a, a combined date of birth. Uh, for that uh, uh, type is equal to then type date okay double click on date now it is asking for year month and day right so first select year comma select month comma then select day 12th okay now press enter now data birth is generated so usually what we'll do is uh, we'll collect uh, uh, some uh, Google Forms data from Google Forms. No? There, uh, sometimes we will collect the data in the form of data date of uh, birth means month uh, and year separately. Okay, in that way, uh, if the data is collected, then we can combine all together to give a single date of birth. Now we can see the date of birth is. Uh, 12th uh, April 1995 12th April 1995 so first uh, uh, number represents uh, the month second number represents date and third number represents year ok now we will see uh, about uh, data diff function ok this data diff function is used to calculate the difference between the two dates any two dates ok data diff function is used to calculate the difference between any two dates okay for example here uh, i have the date data for no if i want to calculate the age as on today okay if you deduct uh, the data birth from today's date you get the total age correct first let me type uh, the today's date or else what you can do is type is equal to here uh, type today double click on today type enter now today's date is appear or, or else manually you can type ok let me copy the same date to all the cells now if i want to know age of a person age of a person then we will use this data diff function we will use data diff function now let me calculate how many years are over for that type is equal to Type is equal to type dated if dated if dated if see one more important thing this dated if function it will not appear in the drop drop down list automatically it will not appear okay uh, you have to manually type it for that you need to remember this function okay we have to remember the syntax of this dated if function okay automatically you will not get it to select got it so is equal to data diff open the uh, bracket then you give a uh, start date start date is uh, 12th april 1995 then you give end date means today's date today's date comma i want the years now no type as y Right, end no, 28 years okay as on today the number of years is 28 similarly we can calculate the months what i will do is i will copy the year calculation and paste it and paste it now i want months no year you should not give m alone okay if you give m alone no total number of months it will calculate total number of months it will calculate okay it will multiply the number of years by 12 and it will give total number of months as on date you want uh, the number of months okay months uh, after 28 years okay 
you want number of months covered after 28 years for that you need to give ym as input here ym as input now press enter now it is giving 10 months after 28 years 10 months if you simply give month now it will give total number of months covered from uh, this date to this date 346 months it, it will give so to avoid that you need to give ym ym so it will give number of months covered after 28 years of age okay similarly for date also paste the same function for date year you need to give as md month date okay so it will uh, calculate the uh, number of days after cover uh, number of days after 10th month Okay, number of days after 10th month. If you simply give day, it will give total number of days covered from first day to the last date. Okay, that is why here you need to give as MD. For month, OEM. For day, MD. For years, just Y. That's it. Okay, so this is how we will use data D function uh, to calculate the age or to calculate the difference between any two dates. So we have one more function that is dated value. So this dated value means uh, so when we type uh, a date in a Excel, okay, it will uh, remember that date uh, in the form of some code numbers. Okay, that code number is called as dated value. That code number is called as dated value. For that, uh, let me see. Uh, let me uh, calculate the dated value. Type is equal to dated value dated value double click on double dated value select select uh, the date of birth type enter now it is giving giving some error okay to calculate this dated value no so we should have uh, the proper format uh, of the year for that you what you need to do is again uh, in one more cell you type is equal to text text okay select the date of birth Okay, select the date of birth, comma. Now, you select the format of the date once again. First is month, next is day, next is year. Close the bracket, type enter. Okay, so one more time by using text function, you need to generate the data birth, same data birth, you can see same data birth in, in some different format it is uh, giving, okay, instead of hash it has uh, taken hyphen here, now it will give the dated value, type is equal to dated value, date value, okay, select this date, type enter, now it will give, it will generate, means it will give the number, corresponding number. As I said before now, this, these dates will be remembered by Excel by in by some code numbers. That code number is called as date, date value. What my point? The dates will be stored in the Excel in the form of code numbers. For each and every date, there will be different different code number. So it is giving that code numbers. That, that is only the meaning of dated value. Okay. Similarly, the time value for each and every time okay right from 0 uh, minute 0 second uh, 0 hours to the 24 hours it will give some code numbers it will remember the time in the form of some code numbers let me generate that code numbers for uh, time as well that is called as time value okay so here uh, i have hours minutes and seconds let me uh, combine all these together is equal to time time double click on time first it is asking to select hour comma next it is asking to select minute comma second type enter now the time is selected okay now if you directly calculate the time value you know, time value you won't get it let me show you you won't get you, you will get some error okay for that again you need to uh, format the time Okay, format the time for that. You 
you have to use text operation only again type is equal to text text double click select on select this time okay comma so time you give in the form of uh, hours minutes and second hh hour then minutes mm and second close the bracket now we have generated the generated the same time in the form of hours and minutes and the seconds okay in different format for this format only you will get the time value now you definitely will get the time value is equal to time value select some particular time type enter now it is giving all the numbers okay the microsoft excel will save each and every time with some code numbers see for 9 hours 56 minutes 4 seconds so this is a code number okay time value is nothing but it is a code number used by excel to uh, for the time for the time that is called as time value okay so that's all for this video thank you